Good morning, folks. I see a lot of disappointed comments online about the meteor shower. It was indeed a fraction of what the experts predicted, but I saw a couple meteors and so did many other people. Spaceweather.com is a great gallery, including some non-visual representations of taken readings. I was also listening to the space weather radio. It was singing like a wind chime at sunset and enough to prove to me that we did indeed enter the stream of that comet, but it was minor. Let's stay up in the stars to check the top planetary geometries of the next few weeks. There are two geocentric positions of note, the first occurring the second week of June as Saturn and Venus enter geocentric opposition, followed one week later by the conjunction of Mercury and the Sun, also counts as the heliocentric conjunction of Mercury and Earth. The latest Antares rocket failed, and reports say it may have actually exploded at the test gate. There were no injuries, but this is a big hit for the project. Top story for the observers today is the study by North Carolina professors collaborating with the University of Minnesota. Evidence for AMO and solar force temperature changes in North Carolina only. Expect to see a lot more of this now that they've figured out what 0.1% irradiance variation actually does to the planet. Welcome to the new age of climate science. Let's hop over quickly to the Mobile Observatory Project. You can also go right there at observatoryproject.com. We have made great progress with your help. Numerous tour dates now confirmed with many more on the verge of finalization. We can't wait to come see you guys. Keep in touch. Remember, this is elementary school to retirement age appropriate. And trust me, I plan well. Kind of a keep it in the back of your mind story here. Either the new buoy in the Bay of Bengal is broken or the seafloor has been slowly shifting for over a week. Anyway, a strong earthquake has just struck near the eastern Mediterranean. Did so as we were making the video, so you can note how initial readings always come in ranged and labeled A for automatic reading. By the time you get over here, you'll see a bunch of M's for manual readings and confirmations. We'll see where they come out, but looking like it should end up in excess of the 6 magnitude mark. Meanwhile, we had a tremor in the North Atlantic, some smaller regional uptick signatures in the east with the southernmost rumble in that close to the Bay of Bengal where cancelled storm warnings can't stop that low from spinning. The other top rumble of the day occurred just north of the low that got a name, Amanda, who is twisting her way north to Mexico, but may indeed dissipate before getting close to the coastline. Either way, top watch. Same story persists in Australia with coastline warnings and a pressure funnel shooting moisture directly at New Zealand. The story in Europe is one of temperature. The low to the left pulled down such cold air on its west side that it's the opposite of what happened to you guys all winter where you caught the east lead and heat. But folks, here's an even better temperature delta. Look at this difference dependent on the Canadian pressure systems. It's warmer at parts of the northern Canadian coastlines than in parts of Ohio. That's fun. Stormwatch tonight is for Texas and New Mexico. Solar wind indeed got fun yesterday. Speed remains slightly above average this morning and density is moderate. We entered a magnetic storm briefly overnight. We are recovering at this point. Solar flaring was dismal again, but may improve today. At the departing limb, I now see a delta spot. Blue and red jammed in that penumbral region together. Earth is magnetically connected just behind the limb there. The incoming spots are not too big or complex yet, but Per our members' notes last night, we have an umbral collision coming. Watch the separation of the backside umbras there, and as the tail develops, she closes the gap and is closing it quickly. It'll either trigger immediate decay or potentially a nice flare. Folks, this afternoon, a ton of our community members are hopping on Skype for a group discussion about whatever we want. Look for Mr. Too Tough on Skype. MR2. I'll put all the info down below the video as well. Star Observer will be there along with many others. Time to be heard folks. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.